Hello everyone, I hope you're well and welcome to another video. This is going to be a reading vlog, so every time I pick up a book I'm going to pick up my camera. So I'm going to start with a book that I've actually been paid to promote, I'm part of the marketing campaign for this book and that is why ad is in the title. This is The Cerberus Affair by Charlotte Valentine and every book that I am paid to promote on the channel I never pick books that I wouldn't pick up myself in a bookshop because I don't see the point and I would pick this book up because it has such an odd interesting like right up at the back so it's about murder and then also like government scandal maybe as well so I'll read you a little bit Catherine Preston an ex-investigative journalist vows to expose those responsible for the death of her friend a UK junior health minister tipped for cabinet promotion his wife believes he was murdered although official Dom insists he died of natural causes so Catherine then has to she's drawn into the sinister web of corporate corruption murder and into the controversial world of cutting edge genetics research so she has to find out if maybe he found something out with researching and that's why he was killed or whether it was natural causes like they're trying to say and this is a book that just speaks to me if I saw this in a bookshop I would 100% pick that up so this is the paid promotion part of the video and that's it I haven't been paid to give it a good review I haven't been paid to say it's a great book I've just been paid to promote it and that's it. That's the only ad part of this whole video that you are going to see. But this is a book that I would pick up. And also to do with everything with lockdown, we've seen a lot of health ministers on TV. And so it's kind of intriguing with that as well, being in lockdown, hearing a lot from health ministers. And then it's got murder, corruption, scandal. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> I love anything to do with that. So thank you so much, Charlotte Valentine, for working with me and let me be a part of your marketing campaign for this book. I'm going to put down all the information down below where you can get this book from and also more about Charlotte and everything. So that is the, this book, which I'm very excited to start. And I'm actually going to start now. A little update on my reading of this so far. I'm on chapter nine and it is really fast paced. When I read a thriller, I want it to be a fast paced thriller. I want it to have like a web of other things going on and it does. So one chapter is Catherine and she's found out that her friend has died and her friend's wife has contacted her and said, I don't think he died of a heart attack like everyone's saying. I think it's something else. So Catherine's trying to like dig a little bit deeper and find out what does she mean? And she's going to meet his wife so his wife can tell her what she thinks her husband was involved in and then the next chapter is this man who works with genetics and all about genetics research and you find out different things that are going on with his life that are obviously heading towards one direction i'm not going to give you any spoilers but to do with like genetic diseases and dna and everything like that and so he's dealing with all that then the next chapter is Catherine trying to find out what's happened to her friend and deal with her own personal life because she's 53 and she's been just looking after her children and everything and then she's been plunged into finding out it's so interesting it's so intricate i can see this as a film really working really well and i like that it's not just following Catherine and that's it it will turn its chapters between Catherine and then this man who works in a lab and you're finding more about his story within it really enjoying it so far very fast paced I am still reading The Cerberus Affair and I'm really enjoying it. It's going to more of a moral issue of changing DNA. So if you know you have a terrible illness that's in your family and it can be passed down to you and be in your DNA, do you want that to be edited out of your DNA or do you think that's wrong, it's playing God? What are your opinions on that? The book is going more into that. I'm going to stop talking about this book in this reading vlog because I don't want to put in any spoilers and I feel like I can't talk about this book anymore without putting in spoilers. So I will talk about this book once I've finished it in a book reviews video. So I'm going to stop talking about it for my reading diary but I am still enjoying it so far. It's a really fast paced thriller and it's got more of kind of a moral issue as well which I feel like if you're reading it with someone you can have more of kind of a conversation about the book so I am still enjoying it. I'm currently reading Alice Walker now though no, by the light of my father's smile <laughs> why I said now is because my favorite book of last year was Alice Walker's now is the time to open your heart but this is by the light of my father's smile so far it's about a man's died and he's looking down on his daughter and he's narrating what his daughter is doing and that's all i know about it so far and i'm really enjoying it i just adore anything alice walker has ever written so i know i'm gonna love this as well it is so 
sunny outside and we're going to go to the communal garden so where we live all the houses around us and we live in a block of flats we all share the same communal garden but everyone else has a garden <laughs> or a balcony apart from us we're one of the only flats that actually don't have any outdoor like private outdoor space so no one uses this communal garden apart from me and Dom <laughs> sometimes there's like children running about in it but normally it's just me and Dom so we're gonna go there lay out a blanket and just kind of chill on the grass if there's other people there I'm not gonna stay I don't want, like be near other people and everything so <laughs> look at me my anti-socialness has really come out with this lockdown like I can say it publicly now I don't want to be near people I'm gonna take a towel just a red towel we can sit on I've got my book and I'm gonna do this knitting which I don't think I've shown you my progress on this this is a shawl it's just in plain knit but it's in this really thin wool and look and so it's going to wrap around me and then I'm going to put poppers on it so it just goes round my shoulders like kind of a, a fancy like you know in Victorian times <laughs> when they'd have like a fur wrap around their shoulders like that but with this I think it looks like a bit kind of like woodland elfy <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining things I just live in my own little head so I'm like wolfy wolf woodsy <laughs> so anyway taking that gonna knit that I'm gonna take it in my fetching little knitting bag that I've got so I'm gonna empty everything out here and then we can go this is my latest knitting project it's a lace effect so I'm using wool but it's coming out in this really nice lace design and then I'm crocheting in these beads individually so I have all my beads here and I'm using a tiny crochet hook this is 0.50 and you put the bead on it and then you have to crochet it into the design and I love it it's so beautiful it reminds me of a mermaid and that wasn't the look I was going for I just did the bottom like this but doesn't it look like a mermaid's tail so here we got some orange and yellow and then it goes into blue and then we got some really nice purple beads that I put in and I think I'm going to do it blue for a little bit more but then I'm going to move on to greens I'm going to put in some dark greens I'm going to put in some light greens I then might go back to blue maybe some yellow to really get like a scale like a mermaid thing I've been inspired as I'm doing it Do you ever find that when you're doing a craft project and then it turns out different for what you thought it was going to turn out but it turns out so much better like with this I wasn't going to put the beads in it I was just going to do like a lace effect like nice little scarf but I love it with the beads and it just looks like a mermaid's tail I love it so much so I think I'm going to change it oh I quite like this really dark blue maybe let's have a look oh I might go into like dark blue now and then dark blue into green but I love it it's so pretty and I love this lace design so pretty I love it my little oh little tail I've made some more progress with my knitting so I thought I'd show you so last time I'd done blue and now I've added in all this green it's so pretty so it goes from blue and you've got some purples in here as well and then it goes into different shades of green and I think now I'm going to put in some orange I've got some lovely orange here and I'm going to put in some yellow so it will go from this kind of nice greeny colour to orange and yellow I have finished Gigi and I absolutely loved it. I'm going to film its own review video on this. I thought it was a really clever, fantastic novella. So I'm going to end this reading vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed this reading vlog. I'm going to be putting up loads more vlogs, loads more reading vlogs because the UK is currently still in lockdown. Even though some restrictions have been lifted, we are still technically work from home if you can work from home. So I'm at home. I'll be filming loads of reading vlogs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a comment down below and I'll see you again soon for another video.